In this lesson, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the Easy Discuss extension that we just installed. Now you have the settings, and there's so many different functionalities that this, you know, this extension has to offer. I'm not gonna cover every single one of them, but I'm just gonna to touch to some of the core things here. I have another course that teaches you how to utilize, you know, all the, uh, the features uh, of this extension. So the general, when you click on the general, it gives you workflow badges. Now one of the great things I love about this, uh, this extension um, is that it allows you to create badges. It allows you to create like a reward system where the more involved people get, you can be able to set points, the number of points that they get. If they, you know, reply to, if they start a new discussion, if they upload an avatar, a picture. So it gives you a lot of different things. So, you know, you can check the comments. You can also do SEO. You can also protect certain categories uh, that you create. So, for example, if you want to, if you have certain categories that are meant just for your your you know your users, and you don't want the general public to be able to have access to that, you can set the permission for that. And I'm going to show you how when we start creating different categories, you can set the permission that only certain users have access to that page. This is really great because if you have a, a membership site. Uh, then you want to be able to, you know, protect certain content so that only those pain people or serious people uh, have access to that. So you have your different, uh, you can check the conversations. This is a dashboard and you're going to get an idea of how things are going on your dashboard as you start to add more categories and people start to post things. You can block users, you can delete users if you realize that someone is, you know, that's causing trouble in the site, you can do that. And you can also choose the different post types. So you can choose, you know, the bug issue tasks. You can also add, you can create a new one for questions, or you can you can pretty much, you know, add or edit or delete some of those here. Now, the reason why you have the, the post types, how the post types work is that when someone have a question, and they click, you know, ask a question, they're going to have to choose what, why, what's the reason for them contacting you? Is it about a bug? Is it about an issue? Is it a task? Or is it whatever it is? So you have the, op, you know, the, you have the ability here for you to change these by clicking on them. You can edit, you know, what it says on there. And we're going to take a look at that later. You have custom fields, you have ranks, you can rank, you know, users based on their performance the more involved that they are then you can create a page to show your highest ranking users and things like they have a point system as i mentioned before uh they can be able to um earn points and they can eventually redeem those points you know let's say if you really want to get people motivated you create a point ranking system where if they get 100 points or 1,000 points, whatever number of points, then they can redeem, they can pay half price for your hotel or your motel or your your property that you're renting or whatever it is. So this is a great way for them to really get involved because now they want to get involved, they want to post, they want to, you know, tell the people about the site. And the more active that they are, then the more points that they get. And you have the control over how you set the points. You want to set, set it where if they post a question or if they respond to a reply, then they get 20 points, 50 points, 100 points, you have that control. And we're gonna take a look at that later and we have badges badges too that we're gonna take a look at and you have auto posting. Now auto posting, how that works is that you have to configure this, but I'm not gonna go through that in this course. With auto posting, you can set it where you connect to Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter that every time that a discussion is happening, someone replies, someone creates something new, it's going to automatically post to those social media sites without you having to post them there. Now that's that's a great feature to have, but you also want to be careful about that because you have to monitor what's being posted, what's being talked about, what's being created. Because if you get spammers that come on your site and they want to create a bunch of nonsense, uh, then those that's going to be automatically posted on the social networks. You can also moderate comments. You can you know assign moderators for each uh, group and create different groups, each category, so that those moderators can be able to moderate you know that before a post is accepted and this has been moderated first. 
you can also do that as well. So that's pretty much to give you a quick overview of the extension, but it has a lot of great things, a lot of meat in it, and it's something that I definitely recommend for every business. Every business, regardless of what type of business you have, you need to have a forum because that's where people are going to find answers. It's going to help to alleviate some of the pressure and stress off of you because the more active your community is, your forum is, other users are going to start to answer questions that you know that they, they've learned um, and then you can also assign moderators for the forum. So that's that's a really great way for you to integrate it with your business. So that's why I really had to include it in this course because it's so, so important. Let's move on to the next lesson.